Heroes in the midst of an exciting. Ooh. A.M. Um, spine ting. Ling. In the midst of a. Oh, I give up! There's no way to make this sound interesting. Our heroes are as bored as a supermodel in a library. If they were any more motionless, they'd be violating the laws of physics! Crimony! Crimony, I say! Crimony! <sighs> anyway, so then Dave comes in. I wrote a song! Gee, they're just as excited as I was. It's a little ditty about my friend, the donkey. Oh, my happy donkey chum, sweet as a chrysanthemum. Oh, oh Garbaggio! It wouldn't be so pig lick and lousy if it was more like. Wow, it's a whole new kind of music. I'm gonna call it rock and roll, because it was like being hit by a rock, and I'm hungry for a roll. Since when do you play the lute? It's a long story. See, there was this bug. Spare my life, and I will teach you to play the lute. And then he taught me to play the lute. Huh, I guess it's not such a long story after all. Hey, you guys wanna start a band and get really rich and famous? Yay! We can call ourselves the Barbarian Six. <laughs> Plus donkey. I'm sure we can come up with a better name than that. my song when it was just a little tune about my donkey pa- <laughs> Oh, here's your share of the box office, guys. Money! Yes, the money pours in as the Barbarian Six Plus Donkey swiftly become the richest and most famous musicians in the world. there now. Just five more minutes, please. Hurry up, it's my turn! Bang, you know you can't go in the gold for at least a half hour after eating. How did you all get so greedy? If all this money isn't enough for you, what makes you think more money will be? Well, there's only one way to find out for sure. Get, get more, more money! money! Need more money? I can help. Who are you? I am the Dark Lord Chuckles, the silly music producer! That guy seems vaguely familiar. Of course I do. I'm the world's greatest music producer. I'm going to help you make enormous piles of money. And then I will destroy you all. <laughs> Did he say destroy you all? I don't know. After piles of money, I just heard blah, 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 blah. blah. Me too. Ah! Yep. Our heroes enter the recording studio to begin work with Chuckles, the silly music producer. And take one. Here's a little song I like to call Pancake Party. If I had a pancake, I'd eat it with butter. I'd eat it with syrup. I'd eat it with a fork. Oh, pancakes! Oh. Let me show you how it's done! Pancakes, pancakes, eat it with a fork! Pancakes, pancakes, don't be a dork! Pancakes, 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 wow! That kid's a genius! A genie! 
Genius! Does that mean I can grant three wishes? My first wish is for a magic flying coconut that'll take me all around the world! Can I get a payback on that? Playback. Pancakes, pancakes! Wah! Soon they have recorded their masterpiece, Pancake Party. Great work, everyone! Good night! Bye! See ya! Okay, bye bye! Go! Now to record my little addition to their song. Oh, I am so finished! Destroy the barbarian six plus donkey. <laughs> Another magic word? Pamuric! Playback! Destroy the barbarian six plus donkey. Pamuric! And I just reversed the recording. Playback! Eroima! When people hear this hidden message, they will be magically compelled to destroy, destroy, destroy those barbarians! Whom I dislike immensely. <laughs> Pancake Party is immediately a tremendous hit and is distributed all around the world. I have purchased the latest song from the Barbarian Six Plus Donkey. Oh, Sven, let us listen. Pancakes, pancakes, eat a little fun. Pancakes, pancakes, don't be a dog. The song quickly sells out and unscrupulous merchants bring out bootleg copies recorded on cockatoos. McCall's and rugby players. Pancakes, pancakes, eat them with a fork. Pancakes, pancakes, don't be a dog. Everywhere, pancakes, Chuckles' hidden message works its evil magic. Eroima! Eat more chuckles, near a rubber dog. Destroy the barbarians, Destroy them! Meanwhile, our heroes receive truly staggering amounts of money. When I grow up, can I marry our money? Sure thing, sweetie. <laughs> Foolish barbarians! How will you enjoy your riches when you have been destroyed? <laughs> I didn't know you had magic powers. I am the Dark Lord Chuckles the Silly Piggy! <laughs> Owie, I, I forgot it really grew that mustache. I have used your music to magic all I turn your own fence against you. Destroy them! Destroy them! Destroy them! Destroy them. Ah, 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 ah. We can beat them, Dave! I'll take the one on the left! You take the 400,000 on the right! We can't fight them! There's only one thing that can save us now! Diplomacy? Cupcakes? Magic rump gremlins? Rock and roll! Thus, our heroes play an impromptu free show they call The Concert to Save Our Own Keisters! <laughs> Aggressive rock and roll music can't calm them. They need a sensitive ballad. Destroy them! Please don't hurt us. Please don't break our bones. Please don't hit us with your clubs or pummel us with stones. Please be nice and friendly. We don't want to be slain. Plus, we are allergic to any kind of pain. That was the most beautiful thing I have ever heard. Anyway. Destroy them! Destroy them! Your plan didn't work! Nina, Nina, Nina. Destroy them! I'm still wearing that stupid toupee, aren't I? Yes, the angry mob closes in, and our heroes seem doomed. Until Dave gets an idea. You know, sauerkraut and corned beef would make a good sandwich. Um... And then he gets a not useless idea. Wait, greed got us into this fix. Maybe greed can get us out. Who wants money? We love Dave! We love Dave! We love Dave! Curse you, Dave the Barbarian! The power of my mystic amulet will. Hey, everybody! There's money inside this pig! Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, that tickles! 
So, what do we do now? Are you kidding? We rock and roll! And take it, donkey! Yeah. Baby, here I am. Baby, you know you want me. Uh, I'm your one and only. I'm your honey donkey. Honey donkey. Uh, 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 honey donkey. Uh, uh, honey donkey. Hostile land. The mighty Oswidge is on a perilous quest. Lo, though the dread forces of evil rise up against him, he does not falter. Nothing may stand between him and his goal. The magic stones of Krongvar. With these, he can connect to the World Wide Spiderweb. Uh, let's see, a uh, four-letter word for something that lives underwater. F-blank-S-H. Uh... Fish! Yes, of course. I don't know why I thought it was Bandicoot. Having completed his quest, Oswidge promptly loses interest in the worldwide spiderweb. But the rest of the family discover its other uses. Dear Mom and Dad, sorry to hear that you were captured by the fearsome Black Sea Pirates. Here are some new pics of Faffy to cheer you up on the prison ship. Isn't he cute? Next, I'll send my hilarious joke of the day to everyone I know. Nobody likes that, David. Don't be silly. Of course they do. <laughs> no fair! I had another life coming! Let's play again, and this time you will taste my wrath, Oak Nutter 678. Faffy, are you in that dragon chat room again? Squeep, brang, lubble, 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 tweep, blarp, wooga, wooga, thoob. That's not how you spell blarp. Yes, these are rather trivial uses of such a wondrous tool as the worldwide spiderweb. But soon, there comes a brilliant mind able to discover the web's true majesty and power. Hey, you can shop on this thing! Shoes, shoes. Candy, you haven't eaten or slept in days. Maybe you should take a break. Go away. Shopping. New wardrobe. Ooh, that bedroom set looks nice. Ooh, I've always wanted my own island. Why not two? Soon, Candy's purchases begin to arrive. And arrive. And arrive. Before long, the castle is entirely filled with Candy's purchases. I'll take a dozen of these music boxes and a hundred of these crystal kitties and... Oh, I must have... Exfoliating sponges! Nice collection you have here, but how are you gonna pay for it? Pay? What means this pay? You haven't been paying? But if you don't pay, they send a... Bill Collector! That must be the diamond-studded diamonds I ordered! Don't hurt the lobsters, Uncle Oswich! Lobsters? <laughs> Not the face! Guy? Hello. My name is Gagnar, the bill collector, and I'm trying to find, uh, Princess Candy. I need to talk to her about a convenient payment schedule. Uh, Princess who? Ah, never heard of her. Nope, no princess here. And no candy. And no, no princess candy. I'm almost done embroidering your robe. Do you want it to say princess or candy or princess candy? Ah! Uh, bye-bye. Sorry, I'm not here right now. Please leave a message. Beep. Please answer the door before I'm forced to get ugly. You can get uglier? You wouldn't force a poor little girl like me to pay, would you? You ordered those items. Now it's time to pay up. Stuffed animals don't grow on trees, you know. Oh, uh, this seems to be a dang sight easier to pick if they grow on trees. And if I don't pay? I'll crush you and your whole family and take your castle. Take our castle? How are you going to do that? Jinkies! Ah! Who's this? Your new boyfriend? 
I have come to collect her debt. Or crush you all and take your castle. No problem. How much does she owe? Three million drekkles. There has to be some way we can work this out. Well, I guess you could collect someone else's three million drekkle debt from me. Then I'd call it square. Well, who do we have to collect this debt from? A uh, fellow by the name of the Dark Lord, Chuckles the Silly Piggy. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Dark Lord plots his next evil undertaking. Evil, I say. <laughs> More evil. Those curtains are just not evil enough. Better, but will they match the tile? It won't work if they don't match the tile! Here, Darkness, there are some bill collectors at the gate. Bill collectors? To tell them I said I'm not here, and I won't be back for three. No, nine, no, 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 three, no, nine, no, no. Nine thousand years? We can wait. I brought a magazine. Look! Eep. Let's get him! Is it right to just storm in like this? Dave, we're barbarians and we're bill collectors. We can do whatever we want. Whatever we want? Yay! <laughs> I want to be a cowboy! Yeah! Lovely. I'm strapped to someone with the IQ of a garden snail. Come on! And yay! Our heroes do search the fortress high and low for the Dark Lord. <laughs> Dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. Nothing here but pie. Dum pie? -da -dum -da -dum. Ah! Oh! I found him, and he's undercooked. Okay, Deadbeat, cop up those three million dreckles. Never! Thus begins a monumental battle between good and evil. A battle so titanic it will be spoken of for centuries. A battle. What is going on here? Chuckles just redid his kitchen floor, and, uh, it, it, it would just be such a shame to ruin this elegant Florentine tile. Fine, make the narrator look like a fool. Who cares? Oh, don't be that way. Florentine tile, Corinthian marble. Now we know why you're in debt. Hey, I can pay you. The queen of the mole people owes me three million dragels. I just can't figure out how to collect from her. I have an idea. Does it involve shopping? Yes. Next! I have an idea. Does it involve eating? Yes. Next! Does it involve licking your own nostrils? <laughs> Next! Hey, I know. Let's team up with Chuckles. Ah, ah. You want me, a Dark Lord, to join up with you pathetic losers? <laughs> Good idea! <laughs> And so, our heroes join forces with Chuckles the Silly Piggy and set forth to visit the Queen of the Mole People! Man, this recipe is tough! I have potatoes and carrots, but where am I going to find a barbarian hero, a princess, a sorcerer, a dragon, 20 pounds of ham and a monkey? <laughs> This looks like my lucky day. Good going, Pinhead! Your double shopping got us all into this mess! You're the ones who didn't stop me! This is your fault! Boil, you tasty upworlders! Boil! <laughs> I don't think you have the heat on. <laughs> all right. Anybody got a match? Okay, Deadbeat! Cough up those three million dreckles! Oh, look. There's a guy who owes me three million dreckles. If I could collect from him, I'd be able to pay you. I have an idea. Does it involve shopping? Yes. We've done this bit already. Hey, why don't we just skip to the part where we all agree to team up? Deal! That's the guy. He owes me three million dreckles. I really should have seen this coming. Okay, Deadbeat, cough up those three million dreckles. I can't pay her until you pay me. I can't pay you until he pays me. She's got to pay me first. I just think you're going to come in. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I have an idea. Does it involve shopping? Surprisingly, no. Everybody, put a sock in it. You, write a check now. Give it to her. You. Give it to him! And you give it to me! Here you go! Are we all square? Works for me! Why not? Yeah, I guess. Great, let's go get banana splits. Ooh, I'm still gonna be But if, if he, she, they, hold it! Somebody needs
needs to explain to me what just happened here. All we did was pass around a piece of paper. Where did the money come from? Where did it go? And what about Chuckles? Will he ever find the perfect curtains? I think I can explain everything in song. <clears throat> I knew a neg by the name of Steve, laid by a moo cow, I believe. Wore pants, suspenders, and a tie, only washed his face on the 5th of July. Steve took a nap in a frying pan and woke up next to sausages. Steve the egg, Steve the egg, how'd he wear pants without no legs? Steve the egg, Steve the egg, he woke up next to sausages. Yeah. Now I get it. It's nearly time for some Hakuna Matata with those grub grubbers Timon and Pumbaa, next on Disney Cinemagic. They just love bugs!